So let's see if we can get the Razer Cobra Pro down to the weight of around 50 grams or thereabouts in that range and show you what Razer should have done. But this is going to cost you because this is a destructive mod. We are going to have to cut some little bits off this Razer and unfortunately you won't be able to put it back. Now I've done a non-destructive mod. It won't be as light. I'll put a link in the description for that. This one though, this one we're going to have to butcher. So I'm Billy Bob, been around 44 years, love gaming tech. I do a lot of reviews and I also do some mods on gaming mice. So if you want to get a competitive edge and understand how you can beat your rivals, then you definitely come to the right channel. So now to do a destructive mod for this Razer Viper Mini. Oops, sorry, Razer Cobra Pro. But we're not going to touch the shell in terms of like, we're not going to drill the sides. Um, you'll probably save about two grams to drill the shell and the rubber will probably save you around five to eight grams, probably five grams on this if you take it off, but it can be a pain. This thing's going out straight away, this diffuser, because I don't see the point. We might just cut the rear out of it, actually. I think we'll just cut off this part of it. We'll keep the rear screw. We know we need to keep one of the rear mount screws. So we're going to cut around here and just chop that part straight off, I think. And then keep the rear panel. And the rear panel can still go on it if you want it, but you save this weight. So here's the stop point. If you want to know the weight of all the bits, just check the teardowns, you'll be able to see. Goodbye. I always leave a little bit of side on so that the rear panel can go on and you can still get, it doesn't squash in. If you trim it too close, you can't get the rear panel on. That beast is out there. I'm trying to keep the rigidity there, so we'll probably leave those two bars. You could try to trim out these extra bits on the top, but we'll keep them in for a little bit of extra rigidity because we've trimmed out quite a bit there. Now I'm just going to trim out these posts, which we've done before. I need to trim them a little bit, I can see it. I basically trim off the bottom sections. Well, I guess the top sections, which so you want to call it. Ta -da. You have to probably add a little bit of glue on the sides. The, the screws generally hold it, but sometimes you might have to just glue down this little edge. It's up to you. Which means now we can trim this one off. Glue all my glasses in, let me straighten the face. So we took about three or four grams out of it, like that. Now we're going to do the base. This is where the most of the beauty is going to be. We're going to take out the um, wireless charging or the pad charging, we don't need it. chest so that's what we're looking like at the minute got to trim this out don't worry about that we'll trim out these sides what we're going to do now is trim out this diffuser a little bit so we can go back in but not bring as much weight and then we can try it with and without so it fills that gap which we saw Now it'll still sit in, you still get the full gap, but it's not as heavy. Maybe trim it down a bit more. Now we we'll get the drill out. So a razor could have been a bit neater with like the diffuser and stuff, you know what I mean? And just saved a bit of weight. I'm not saying you have to make it miraculous, but not go overkill with a massive diffuser on the back. Or give people an option to have a diffuser or not. Like, do you want do you want RGB diffuser or not? Like, what's what kind of options they need to offer people? There you go, two grams. This is so thin, which is surprising given its weight. 
um, you have to be careful that you don't go too far through the baser. This one in front, now I'm going to cut it out. This magnet, I'm just leaving it there because I couldn't be bothered in a minute, but I'll come back for it. It's all good. It's definitely coming out. Decent amount of weight out of it. Right, I think we're ready to put it together. Sometimes you have to glue it. We won't do that today yet. Oh, I'm going to take some off the side buttons actually. So this is two grams normally, this plastic bit. Leaving the um, cable in so I can see where it's at. Okay, I need to do the battery next. Do this. So we're going from a 420 to a 150. Now you can buy the batteries normally with the right connector. I just haven't got one. You might not need to do this, it's probably a one millimeter DST. There you go. I probably just put the battery like that. There's no gap. Below 60 will be good. I need the feet. Don't get too excited. We've got the feet. But it's going to be below 60. I think just. Oh, yeah, boy. This is what it looks like without the diffuser there. So, no diffuser. 57 grams. 52, 53 grams. Your wonderful Cobra Pro.